not try any of the experiments you are about to see at home. You heard him. Don't do it. This is supposedly the fastest popcorn cooker in the West. Either that or it's a bomb. The instructions, which we translated from the Mandarin, call for two to three whopping cups of popcorn. We're going with the maximum. On Adam's say-so, I'll light the flame, and when this reaches one megapascal, which is one on the dial, at which point the water inside the popcorn should have vaporized and the starch uh, liquefied, but it will uh, not pop until we relieve the pressure. At that point, Jamie will turn off the flame, I will place this whole thing upright, pop that lever, which either will make us all dead or give us all some popcorn to enjoy. Cooking in a bomb suit only on this show. If we just find pieces, can I have your watch? Absolutely. It's not the simplest way to make popcorn. Jamie lights the gas, and Adam rotates the pressure vessel like a cast iron pig on a spit. Hence, the bomb suit. Alton's method took one minute, 45 seconds. About three and a half minutes in, and I haven't seen the pressure rise at all yet. We need the pressure for this to work. But the pressure does slowly build in more ways than one. This actually makes me kind of nervous. It reminds me of water heaters about to explode. Ah, I remember that. We are at about seven minutes when it's only supposed to run from three to five. But the pressure's coming up consistently now. I never thought that four or five minutes from cold made any sense. There's just too much mass there. Yeah. Finally, they get to the point where a sudden release should pop the corn. It's not something you do with a flick of a switch. Are you ready? Yeah. You want the lever in there, or you just want to hit that? I'm just going to hit that. Go for it. Three, two, one. If there's ever been a time to say, don't try this at home, it's now. <laughs> Yay! Notice that the, the way that it exploded creates a shape that's more like puffed rice than it actually is popcorn because of the speed of the, uh, of the kind of plasma form of the starch oh. bursting out. I think that if we uh, took the pressure down and just didn't do it as long, it'd probably be really good. Now, you could still argue it's lightning quick, as the corn actually pops in a fraction of a second as soon as the pressure's released. But if you're aiming to fix a quick snack inside the commercial break, forget it. Well, at 9 minutes, 31 seconds, I wouldn't call it speedy. That's a heck of a show. Totally. That is the most fun I have ever had making popcorn. And the most mess. Absolutely.